the antenna system and feeder cables will be routed to the cabinet during site preparation. Flexible jumpers will be fitted for connection between the feeders and the cabinet filter units. The panel under the filter units was replaced, but not screwed down when the ground cable was fitted. So under the screws to separate the plate that will be used to clamp the RF jumper cables away from the panel. Remove the plate from the cabinet. We will not need to do this for a while. Lift the panel away from the cabinet. This will ease the task of routing cables through the panel. Under the cabinet you will find the RF jumper cables from the antenna feeders. There will normally be six cables and these are to be terminated to the filter units. So lift the panel from the base of the cabinet, then draw the six cables up through the base and thread them through the hole in the panel. Arrange the cables in the order they will be needed, then place the panel back into the base of the cabinet. The panel can now be screwed down to the cabinet before terminating the cables. Identify the three jumpers that are to be terminated to the lower three filter unit RF connectors by means of the labels fitted to the cable ends. Remove the protective caps from the ends of the cables and the connectors on the RF contacts of the filter units. Fit the three lower cables and tighten them to 25 newton meters. The upper three cables are best left out of the work area whilst the lower cables are tightened. This gives the installer a little more space to work. When the lower cables have been fitted, locate the three jumpers that are to be connected to the upper three RF connectors. Connect each jumper cable and tighten them to 25 newton meters. It will be easier if the cables are fitted and tightened one at a time. When the jumpers have been fitted, arrange them neatly in the formed channels, ensuring that there are no sharp edges in contact with the cables and that the manufacturer's recommended bend radius specification has been followed. Refit the plate back in place on the panel so that it grips and supports the jumper cables. Refit the screws and tighten them all firmly.